Hi, this is Michelle B. Hill with the University of Wyoming Extension, Michelle's Money Minutes. Today I'm gonna to be talking about building an emergency fund, and this is part one. We've all experienced unexpected financial emergencies, whether it be a fender bender, some type of medical bill, something in your house has broke down, your pet has gotten ill, or you've even lost your job or your cell phone. Um, large or small, these un unplanned expenses often feel like they hit at the worst times. They're always usually bad timing. Setting up a dedicated savings fund or emergency fund is one essential way to protect yourself and your family. And it's one of the first steps you can make in starting to save. By putting money aside, even a small amount for these un unplanned expenses, you'll be able to recover quicker and get back on track towards reaching your financial goals and your savings goals as well. Um, what is an emergency fund? An emergency fund is a cash reserve that's specifically set aside for unplanned expenses or financial emergencies. In general, emergency savings can be used for anything, large or small, anything unplanned, payments of any type, things that aren't planned in your monthly expenses and spending. So just to help you get along. Why do you need it? Without savings, a financial shock, even minor, can set you back and it can put you into debt. Research suggests that individuals who struggle to recover from a financial shock have less savings to protect against another financial emergency. They rely on credit cards or loans or payday loans, um, all kinds of things, real high interest um, payback situations, family and friends too. And so it really makes it hard to pay those off in a timely manner in addition to your, your regular expenses. Um, how much money does a person need? That really depends on your situation. How many people you have in your family, how many financial obligations you currently have all those different things. So you're gonna determine on your own, you know what you need. I mean, I know what I need as far as how much how much cash money that makes me feel secure and that I can feel like I'll be okay in some type of emergencies, you know, the extreme emergency. But start small. The key is, does it have something so that you're not putting yourself at risk each time? And so what you wanna do, there's different strategies to get you started. These strategies range depending on your situation. You just wanna create a habit and tiny habits are where it's at. Start small, you set a goal is the key. Then what you're gonna do from there, because it can help you stay motivated and on track, you may wanna calculate how long it would take, put a picture on your refrigerator, do something tangible that you can see in your mirror. I always put, something on my mirrors that reminds me because I tend to forget. And you want to create a consistent um, system for making consistent con contributions. So for example, you may want to have an automatic deduction out of your uh, paycheck that goes straight into your savings, something like that. Or you can Cat, you know, if you if you're cashing your check, hopefully you're using a financial institution. But if you're not, if you're cashing your check, setting stuff aside in a safety deposit box that's locked, um, that you can uh, keep track of it and be able to use it when you need to. You want to be able to monitor where you're at, and always um, go ahead and if you're doing if you've saved anything, give yourself a hand and celebrate successes. So this is part one of your emergency savings. If you like this, I mean, please like and share this. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye.